YouTube is demonetizing videos for comments. Nothing else, just bad comments beneath your videos. You might wonder, why do other people's comments affect my ability to make money if my videos are fine? One answer, advertiser boycott. Apparently, Disney, Epic Games, and AT&T all stopped advertising on YouTube recently due to the discovery of some bad pedophilic comments. The video giant YouTube said that within the first 48 hours of the scandal breaking, it had disabled comments on tens of thousands or millions of videos, terminated over 400 channels, and reported legal activity to law enforcement. Were you hit by this? Were some of your videos demonetized because of other people's comments? YouTube is basically saying you need to do a better job of moderating your comments, deleting the bad comments, banning the commenters that are leaving those bad comments so they can't leave comments anymore. You can all do that through the uh, creator studio in your YouTube dashboard. So this article is a tube filter article. The link is down there in the description below if you want to read it. It talks about how after child video scandal, YouTube says ad-friendly videos can be demonetized for inappropriate comments. Only comments. Nothing to do with the video itself. The video is fine. It's just the comments beneath it. So let me point out the highlights. Ballinger, with 1.2 million subscribers, said she had many of her videos demonetized by YouTube because of comments. But she does monitor her comments stringently and suggested that rather than punishing channels like hers, YouTube remove the offending comments and ban the users themselves. Of course, if YouTube feels these are bad comments, why don't they remove them and ban those users instead of relying us on us humans to do it for them? According to YouTube, millions of videos have been partially demonetized with the yellow icon and that YouTube is also asking creators to more astutely moderate their comments because, quote, we can hold monetizing channel owners to a higher standard, YouTube wrote. This was part of another article from The Verge, which you can also read by clicking the link down there to this article and then clicking this link. So what do you guys think of all this? Should YouTube just remove comments themselves and not punish the channel owner? Or should YouTube hold channels that monetize to a higher standard so that they have to do part of the job of monitoring comments themselves. Tell me down there in the comments below. Personally, I think YouTube is correct that channels that are making money on the platform should do more to moderate their videos, not just their own videos, but the comments. I think there is a balance. YouTube, of course, needs to do its part and channel owners need to do their part. I know a channel that becomes very popular may get tens of thousands of comments. So you might say, well, it's unreasonable to expect a channel owner to hire people to moderate tens of thousands of comments. I agree, but just look at the popular ones. Maybe focus on the comments that have lots of likes or the ones that get displayed at the top of the comment list when you're looking at the video. That would be my counter. Like, don't look at all 10,000 comments, just the top ones. Again, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Tell me in the comments below. And I also want to talk about yesterday's video where I said, hiring recruiters to freedom. Many of you contacted me on LinkedIn more than I expected. So we'll have to create a better process. So I can give each of you a meaningful reply. Sorry if I haven't replied to you yet in LinkedIn. I have hired three recruiters. I think four actually. And we have a team lead, so I'm going to in a new video, explain a different process to let everybody who wants to become a recruiter apply and go through a uh, interview where we see if this is a good fit for you and for us. But I will continue replying to the LinkedIn messages, so keep sending them to me, and I'll introduce you to our new team lead. His name is Matt Hamid and he will also help uh, talk with you to see if this is a good fit. So recruiting is a lifeblood of an MCN. It's about having people talk to channel owners to spread the love, spread the message of why partner with Freedom. And I'm so happy that so many of you think this is a good opportunity. That's awesome. Big Freedom family hugs. And I'll do my best to get back to each of you and know that we would love to create a large team of recruiters properly structured under team leads in different territories and 
communicating with each other so we all help each other grow together as a family. Does that ring a bell? That's our mission, our, not our mission, that's, our, that's the spirit of freedom. Uh, but bear with us, we're just getting started with all this recruiting team building. And if you think you can also be a team lead, send me a message on LinkedIn. I'd love to uh, speak with you about how we can organize teams of recruiters. And of course, we're looking for people with experience in that type of position. Maybe you've already been a team lead for another MCN, or you've just had many years of experience on YouTube as a recruiter or a channel owner that's worked with many YouTubers. All those things count when uh, we're looking for the right people to be our leaders, to be our leadership team in building these recruiting teams. I also need to give a big shout out to this guy behind me, Mark Hyder. He created a long video called Join Freedom Today. It only got 43 views, so click that eye up there to watch this video and let's get him to at least 100 views and leave a comment. I wrote my comment. This is such an awesome video about freedom. Thank you so much for making it, Mark. You are my favorite brony. Because in this video, he featured me and gave a short introduction to the best parts of freedom, according to Mark. And he talked about our payments. He talked about our music factory. Uh, he talked about our 3D sets, which are right here. And uh, he talked about uh, just everything that I felt were, was really cool about freedom. So Mark, thank you so much for this video. If you've made a video like this, send it to me or send a link down there in the comments below. I would love to spotlight and feature any video that says great things about freedom. And even if they're not so great, I'd love to see that video too because we always want to improve. We always want to hear your feedback on what's good and bad about freedom so we can make the bad go away. What is our mission? Roll it. We want to help you build your career in this digital world. We want you to go full time doing what you love, which I think is YouTube, and not your current job, which is paying the bills. We want YouTube to pay your bills. That's why we want you to become a recruiter for Freedom, because we can pay you for finding great channels from Freedom's Cut. As a recruiter, you take nothing away from the channel. They make the same amount of money, whether they join Freedom directly or not through you as a recruiter. The difference is we pay you from our cut as our way of saying thank you for spreading the love. And tell channels about tips like demonetize for comments. Click that eye to see the playlist of all the videos that I talk about in this KYC series, Know Your Channel, where I talk about how thumbnails can get you YPP suspended, how music can get you YPP suspended, all the ways that you can keep your channel safe is in that playlist. I hope this helps. And I made a promise to make 15 videos. Here they are so far. Click that eye to see this playlist of my promise to make 15 videos, where the latest videos are always at the bottom. And when I finish this promise, I will make another promise. This is something you should do for your channel. Make a promise to your viewers and keep it. It could be something like, I promise to create three videos in the next three days, or I promise to do a live stream with you, my subscribers, on Sunday. It's an important part of building credibility with your audience. Are there any other promises you think I should make? Or anything I should do? Tell me down there in the comments below. I'd love to hear your suggestions and feedback on what you think George should do. So who am I? I am George Sunpai. Papa George, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me, like Obi-Wan George Nobi. Hi, Illuminarch. I am the CEO and founder of Little Freedom Today. Freedom! For freedom and the Freedom Family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. That is the spirit of freedom. That will always be the spirit of freedom and we are going to keep growing towards an IPO. That's our final goal. As a company, we don't want to get bought by another company like every other MCN has been bought. 
we want to continue building freedom towards an IPO so that we continue growing without someone else telling us what to do. When another company buys you, the new owners are the bosses. And we don't like that idea. We think we have a pretty good thing going and we want to keep that thing going without someone else telling us what to do differently. And so an IPO is what lets us do that. The main difference between an IPO and an acquisition is the management team stays the same. So when you do an IPO, you get a big chunk of cash if you're successful as an injection. And if you uh, get an acquisition, you get the same big chunk of cash, but typically the management team is replaced by the guys that bought you. Doesn't happen in IPO. Would you like to know more about my hope of our IPO? Would you like to know more about uh, how close we are towards our IPO goals? I'd love to share more. If you're interested, just tell me down there in the comments below if you are and, enough, and if enough people are, I'll make a few videos uh, dedicated to that to explain the concept and uh, how close we are towards our goal. Until then, Freedom Family. Oh, the music you're listening to. It's a soundtrack that was custom built by Music Factory uh, for all of you. It's 100% safe to use music because Freedom owns it outright. And we have over 200 tracks that you can use safely in all your videos and live streams. Even if you're not a Freedom partner, we recently made the decision to open up Music Factory to everybody. Everyone can use it. You will not get any content ID claims or copyright strikes, even if you're not with Freedom. This is a new uh, direction for Music Factory. In the past, we treated it like other music libraries where you would, could use it for free while you're partnered with Freedom. And then if you leave Freedom, then new videos you upload may get a content ID claim. No more. Everything in Music Factory is 100% free, even if you leave Freedom or if you've never joined Freedom. Click that I to see the Music Factory videos and chat the channel we have. And then you can go to the Music Factory website at www.musicfactory.tm to download all that music and use it anywhere you like. We also create custom music as a sonic branding benefit for Freedom Partners. And if you want to know about all the other benefits, here they are in my letter from the CEO of Freedom, where I talk about all the things that, you, that Freedom does that either YouTube doesn't do or other MCNs don't do, we think. And you can click uh, the link down there in the description below to read this Google Doc if you'd like to know more. And here's the sonic branding piece I just mentioned. Oh, and I'll just scroll down so you can see the other things. Custom games, crypto miner, tax reduction, and 3D virtual sets, professional music, community, the uh, refer a friend, 15% that we pay you from Freedom's Cut I mentioned earlier in this episode. Until the next episode, I am George, and you've been watching. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music. You also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.